Hello, welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to cover about validation rules. So validation rules which help us to maintain the good data in the database. So it enforces the users to enter the correct information and it can help us to maintain the accuracy and quality of the data. Uh, always validation rules will work in before mode. That is, whenever the record is saving into the database, it will just fire the rule before saving into the database. And there is a limitations over there. In free edition, you can use actively 100 validation rules per object. In unlimited edition, you can use up to 500 active validation rules per object. Okay, so let's see a small demo how to work with the validation rules along with the use case. So now, for example, use case, I'm taking a standard object account. So when I'm creating a new account, so if I'm entering a account, so as a test account. So if I save it, it will save. But only the account number or account name by keeping it which will not be helpful. So we need other fields to make them populated. So for that, as a use case, I'm taking it as whenever you save the account record, already the account name would be the mandatory field which the end user needs to be filled along with that. There is a rating field. So I'm just making this field as mandatory. I want this field to make this without fail. They have to fill the field. They have to select this value. So I'm making this field as mandatory. Along with, uh, I need a phone number. So phone number has to be mandatory. Along with, um, there's annual revenue. So I need to, make sure that customer has to fill the annual revenue F along with that there is a pan number field which is a text field which is custom text field so right now whatever the values would be entered it will allow it will allow us to save so pan number would not be in this format so make sure that this data should not be entered it has to be a valid pan number so let's see how to create a validation rule for all those use cases so to create validation rule uh, you can select this wrench icon or settings icon and you can select this edit object so there you find option called validation rule so as of now we don't have any validation over here let's create a new validation rule so here you can fill as account validation you can give specific to the requirement so now so first what I need to check is I'll just create a new account so that I can make sure edit so I want to make this rating field phone field and annual revenue field I want to make those fields are mandatory those fields should never be a blank okay so whenever I work with phone field it is a combination of text right because phone number uh, is carrying um, special symbols and uh, like numbers and special symbols so for that i can use is blank so is blank of phone field so phone cannot be blank so that is the meaning for this and my second condition is annual revenue so whenever you choose any number field like currency field 
or any specific to numbers alone on that time you need to choose the functionality called is null so is null is blank will work for both uh, numbers and special characters is null will work only for numbers so annual revenue is a currency field so i am choosing as is null annual revenue yes annual revenue is selected so next make sure that in a uh, rating field should not be blank so again i'll choose is blank insert that function so rating field here you can see it is a not a blank one it is a pick list value so whenever you are working with pick list value you just need to use the text field so inside the text you need to supply the rating field now next one this next one is pan number correction so for pan number correction we have a field called rejects so rejects so in inside the rejects you need to supply the um field name along with that you need to supply the rejects format for example i have a pan number rejects format so this is how you need to give the pan number rejects format this is the name of the field uh, this is the ap name of the pan number and after that a to z so the first character of a pan number would be there in the capital format of a, uh, in between a to z so next one is also the same uh, till five characters is also same uh, one two three four five and six character should be a number from zero to uh, five or you can make it as five so if you want to make it as zero to five you need to enter zero to five or if you wanted to give it as 0 to 9 you can make it as 0 to 9 so like this so 0 to 9 any number would be there here also 0 to 9 any number would be there so i'm changing it like this because this is the correct format and the last character again it would be in a to z like anything so in case if you are making this brackets that means here there should be only one is allowed so that is the meaning for this so i'm just reverting it back okay so here what i'm doing is I'll just try to add a function called not. So what it will do is it is a logical operator which will checks whether it is not in pan number format. So I'll need to supply like this. Now all the values, all the conditions I made it ready. Since all the conditions are ready, I need to make all these conditions to work in a same time so for that i need to select a operator called and operator so here you can find and operator which will check the logical conditions uh, one two till infinity so you can add a number of conditions if all these conditions are true then only the logical condition will return you the true value so in the same way you can just apply over here so insert the and operator and place the logical first condition and you can place the second condition and you can place the third condition 
finally the pan number condition so here you can find one open brackets one more open brackets here you can find three open brackets as a closed one so i'll remove one so i'll just paste it over here remove it so check the syntax so here you can see no errors found so in case if you miss any one bracket if you check here it shows that one bracket is missing so fill it out check the syntax again here you can find there are no errors so here I am displaying the message as please fill all the necessary informations so where you want to display the error so either you want to display on top of the page or you want to display under the specific field so if you wanted to display the error under the specific field you can select the field so as of now i want to display at the top of the page so save it make sure that your validation is active or not so now i'll just try to save this record So let me create a new record test. Oh, I need to refresh this page. So test. So here you can see our error is actually thrown here. Please fill all the necessary informations. So now what is the first is I am just checking it as hot. Again, you can select save. should not allowed now oh, I'll just check with the phone field So as per our condition, we have given it as and on all the conditions, right? So as per the and condition, what it will do is it will check all the conditions as true. Then only it will return true. So it is actually testing whether the phone number field is empty or not. It is empty and the rating field is empty or not. It is empty and annual revenue is empty or not it is empty and pan number field is not empty or not it is empty so this is how it is actually working so now in this case this will actually hit a error because all these conditions are satisfying if all these are blank then only it will throw the error now if you wanted to change this condition I want any one specific fields are missing then also I need to show error on that case you need to change this and to or so or what it will do is so either any one arguments are correct then it will return true or all will be false so now if the phone number is blank it will throw the error or if annual revenue is blank or it will throw the error or if the rating field is blank it will throw the error or it will if it is not matching with the pan number rejects it will throw the error so now or will check the conditions one by one if any one will be false also it will be giving true and if all are false then only it will become false so now check this condition Uh, we'll try one by one so now I'm filling the rating field I'm trying to save it see it is still showing the error now I'm filling some phone numbers or like 
phone numbers it's still showing error now I am trying to fill the annual revenue it's still showing the error let me fill the pan number F H P M five two double nine P. So now I am trying to save. Here you can find it's now it's getting saved. Even if you try to modify this, now instead of giving the pan number in a for proper format, I am just giving in a different format. You can find this error will throw. So now all the conditions are working fine so this is how you need to manipulate with and and or so and will actually will check all the conditions are true then only it will return true so or either one condition is true in true means if the heart is blank it will throw the error so you can't, now i am just trying to matching the pan i am just trying to save it still it's showing the error because the rating field is blank so now I'm filling the rating field. I'm making the phone number field as blank. You can check still this error is occurring. So this is how you need to work with the validation rules. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Let's see on another session. Thank you.